Hey everyone, welcome back to being a fine figure. And to begin, I want to everybody forget about for a few minutes what I have said about uh, Marvel Legends as far as not buying them, uh, which I probably won't, but this X-Men 97 line looks amazing. I happened to walk on the store and this was the only one that was left. And I've always looked for, and I always wanted an actual great looking Magneto for my Brotherhood of Evil Mutant uh, shelf. And at the moment I was using the Age of Apocalypse, which I, in my opinion, this is my opinion, I thought it was better than some of the older uh, Magnetos that they've made. As far as the, uh, the look of it, uh, you know, I could live with the long hair. It actually gave it a different spin on it. But coming across this one, it just looks great. Um, still, you know, for the prides, minimal accessories. We'll, we'll forget about that for now. I'm not going to be uh, ranting on that right now. But I finally got a good Magneto that's going to replace this one because it, it just will. It's just amazing. So as always here, it is Marvel Legends series. Uh, I was actually hoping that I will find Wolverine, but again, Wolverine and Bishop completely, completely gone. The shelf was completely empty. There was two Magnetos left. All I needed was one. I don't believe, unless it's something that's dear to my childhood, to my nostalgia of growing up, I would not buy more than one. I'll leave it for someone else who, you know, might need it or want it or, you know, is going crazy trying to find the whole collection. So, Today, Magneto unboxing, Getting gonna get him out of the packaging. I will be right back. All right, so I got Magneto out of the packaging and I just realized actually, I might have to take some of that back because the figure is a lot smaller. I had a hard, really hard time trying to get him to stand up, up straight. Um, I had to play with it and fiddle with it enough to, cause it just topples over, but it is much, much smaller than the Age of Apocalypse Magneto, as you can see. Um, even if I spread the legs, it's the hands are a little bit smaller. So I am, don't know how well it's gonna work, but it should because the, the painting around the helmet there is kind of dark. So I'm gonna flip them off later on in the video, see how it looks. I might have to take that back and maybe continue to use this body. And, um, but it's a shame though, because the cape, you know, this is the McNeedle cape. But anyway, let's uh, go over the figure really quick. Uh, we'll deal with all that stuff later. It does come with a set of fists. I wish it would have came up with an unhelmet head. But can't have it all. Again, $24. You expect a just a little bit more. But again, I found the figure that it was a little small. And the head sculpt's actually not bad. I like the eyes darkening. Typical from the uh, series. I know this 97 is going to be a new series. Uh, it will re be released sometime in the future. Um, last time I heard they were pushing the date off a little bit, but it, it's coming. So it's, I guess, an homage to the old 97, original 97 series. But the figures, I think they might be, hopefully Bishop uh, and Gambit and all of them are not on a smaller sculpt like this one. This one's just a little too small for Magneto. Magneto, I, I, you know, I'm used to Magneto being this tall, imposing figure. And they've kind of made him a little small. And now, obviously, if you put the Brotherhood around him, he's going to look even smaller. And I hate to have a Magneto that's basically almost the same size as a toe. But again, we'll put that together at the end. Uh, so stay tuned for that. But again, the helmet sculpt with the head ain't bad. The articulations on the face, on the lips, on the nose, on the eyes are actually really well done. Um, and it is kind of rubbery. So as you can see, I, it just doesn't come off. So it's glued up top, but you can actually see the detail on the cheeks, the sculpt, and, you know, oh, don't do it too much. Don't want it to get stuck in up. And again, it's got the the symbol there that he normally has. Uh, on other figures, it kind of sticks out on here. It's uh, it's more molded into the helmet. I wish, again, they would have had it sticking out. It would have been better. And then, again, it's this, uh, different paints here and there. Uh, I see that they kept the his shorties. His midi shorties on, painted around on the diaper instead of just the underwear. So it make him look like he's got one of those spandex shorty pants. But again, everything else is very simple. The feet I found were a little, just a tad too small. So that's why it topples over so much. 
I mean, it was just like, have him in the give me a hug pose or grip pose just so he can put some weight in the front and not tip over. But the cape is just a little too heavy for the figure because obviously it's a small figure. And at first I thought the cape would come off, but as you can see, I mean, you can do a nice poses with it, you know, flying through the air or, or you know, wind blowing through it, but it is glued to the front piece here, but only in the middle, right between the, the pecs. So um, mine did have, I know that's not shading. It had a little mishap there on the paint. But normally, yeah, it's on the side. So, you know, maybe it might show in some. So that's a bummer there. I might have to touch that up. And again, and then in the back, as you can see, I don't know what the deal is with these little red dots on the blue. That just threw me off. But again, you can peg the, again, it's, I don't see the point of this really because you can't really take the cape off like you could with the uh, age of apocalypse one the whole his whole cape came off i wish they would have done the metal rivets there it would look pretty cool but they didn't they all had one color um and again they did a little better as far as the boot and the highlights in the age of apocalypse one as you can see it's all one piece his uh gauntlets and his uh and so it's for the boots. They're all one color. This one here gives you the, uh, oh, I guess the comic version, cartoon version, painting on, the, on his bootstraps. And then as you can see, that's terrible. He's got, that's, that's just terrible. I'm not too happy with that. Um, granted, the other ones have it, but you can see that it's better proportion. But yeah, the feet are terrible. So uh, looking at through the plastic, it looked amazing getting it in hands. It does have his uh, his defects here and there. But again, A for effort, I guess. But again, it just seems too small. So as always, I think I'm just going to, let's just go ahead and see if that fits on the Age of Apocalypse. See how bad it looks. Let's put this together. That's it. Man, the color, now the color's off a little. But that looks a lot, looks a little better. It does. It looks a lot better. So maybe I'll just stick with this, with this helmet. Um, yeah, it's very proportioned, so it's actually not bad. Uh, let me fix the cape. Yeah, I think I might go with this look. Just for some reason, they just... The body's just way small. And it just like I feel like it will get lost in the edge of our But anyway, let's uh let's get this head sculpts back on the original body here. And let's see if I can Alright, maybe I don't you know what? Let me get one of my uh hundreds of uh McFarland stands, flying stands, and I'll have them hover in the air and then we'll we'll put them next to the uh brotherhood. So here he is next to some uh, uh, my, I, you know, my brotherhood of evil mutants, my idea of what the brotherhood should be. Uh, I'm missing uh, Wanda, I can't find Spiral. I know it's somewhere, you know, I'm, I'm always moving stuff around. So I know it's in somewhere in the house. <laughs> but as you can see, I just think it's so small. I think having a Magneto the size of Toad, it's just, it throws it off. The figure's just a little too small. So I guess he will be part of that. And I had to get a McFarlane stand because he doesn't stand still. But I think if I go back and I take this nice head sculpt that I know I am. I know it doesn't match a little bit, but I think it's still a whole lot better. And I go back to the Age of Apocalypse sculpt. Let's get towed up again. Let's get Creed looking this way. And old Freddy over here. See, that doesn't look too bad. It's a nice, better uh, sculpt, nice, better, uh, bigger body. So that's how the figure I thought was going to replace my Magneto is going to end up with the head sculpt being used for the Edge of Apocalypse body. So, 
Hey, as always, guys, thanks for tuning in. As always, uh, always, always grateful for your support. And as always, continue to be a fine figure. And I will see you later.